The help files in National Estimator are only a couple of mouse clicks away. Click on the question mark when you get stuck. I'll search by keyword. I'll type the keyword I want to find. Double click to jump to that topic. Here's the number to call when you need help. To print a guide to National Estimator, search for Guide. Then click on File, Print Topic, and Print. We're finished with the estimate, just testing, so let's remove it permanently from the disk. I'll click on File and Open. Check the drive and folder to be sure they're correct. Just Testing is in the My Documents folder. I'll right-click on Just Testing. And select Delete and click on Yes. And I'll click Cancel to resume estimating. Deleting an estimate doesn't automatically delete the backup estimate. Remember that saving an existing file always creates a backup of the old file. So your hard drive probably has a backup of every estimate you've ever made. To get rid of these backups, you have to delete them. Here's how. I'll click on File and Open. I'm in the My Documents folder. That's the default for estimates. I'll click on the down arrow at the right side of the Files of Type box to find backups. And here we are. I'll right-click on the backup of Just Testing and click Delete. The backup is gone. I'll click Cancel to resume estimating. When an estimate is done, I turn it into a bid or invoice with Job Cost Wizard. Let's dump the Stillwell estimate into Job Cost Wizard. Here's the Stillwell estimate. I could print this estimate and send it to Bill just the way it is, but your customers don't need to know the cost of every nut and bolt in the job. And they certainly don't need to know your markup. Job Cost Wizard lets me show and hide what I want and prints a nice looking bid or invoice. So I'll click on File and Send Estimate to JCW. Here's the Stillwell Estimate in Job Cost Wizard. I'll push the page up so you can see more. The format is a little different. Instead of material, labor, and equipment in columns, costs are in rows. All the descriptions are here. Here's the subtotal for the foundation work. Otherwise, it's about the same as our Stillwell estimate. If the estimate in Job Cost Wizard doesn't fit your screen, set the percentage of zoom. For 800 by 600 resolution, 90% in the zoom window is about right. Click and drag or pull the page up or down to see anything on the page. This is page 1 of a 10-page estimate. Turn pages by clicking on the Previous Page or Next Page buttons. To go to any page, just type the number and press Enter. This is the last page, 10 of 10. Here's overhead and profit in the job. I'll drag the slide bar to the bottom of the page. And here's the bottom line. I filled in the customer name and mailing address already. Enter or change the name and address by clicking on the man's face. Click on the hard hat to change the job name.
Click on the hammer to change the job number. Click on the Details button to show or hide the details in your estimate. Subtotals only is a good choice. The subtotals in your estimate become cost category names if you export to QuickBooks. To change the title of this form, click Transaction Type on the toolbar. You've got a couple of choices here for the title. Click on Custom, and you can type in any title for this form. Now, this is an alternate bid. To change your company information, click Options and your company info.